This video is on the five components of physical fitness. The first component mentioned here is on flexibility. It is the ability of the joints to move through a full range of movement. Touching one toes with a leg straight out is an example. The body has many muscles and each one should be stretched. The next component is cardio-respiratory fitness. It is the ability to continue strenuous tasks involving large muscle groups over an extended period of time, also called aerobic fitness. It is the ability of the circulatory and respiratory systems to adjust to and recover from the effects of such activities as brisk walking, running, swimming, cycling, and other moderate to vigorous activities. The next component is muscular strength. It is the maximum one effort force that can be exerted against a resistance within the heaviest weight possible. In the leg press, overhead squat, regular squat, or even in the deadlift. This is usually a one repetition phase. Muscular endurance is the ability of the muscles to supply a submaximum force repeatedly. For example, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups. No, not these types of pull-ups, but the pull-ups with a bar, where the body is hanging and you pull yourself to the very top. This phase is usually 10, 15 reps or more. The last component is body composition, the relative amount of body fat and lean body tissue or fat-free mass, often expressed as percent of body fat. You can measure this with either circumference with inches or centimeters or by using body calibers to get your body fat percentage level.